everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. It's time to take a look at our month ahead for July of 2022. Let's see what's in the cards for this month ahead. But first, I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers on Rumble. I want to thank them for alerting me to something that came true from one of my predictions from June. Now, it's kind of an unfortunate thing that happened, but many of you may be aware that the plane crash that happened just a few days ago with Dr. Carrie Madej, uh, very tragic. It looks as though, at least at the time that I'm recording this, that she has survived the crash and is in ICU. I haven't had any updates. I don't know anything about her condition at this time. So I wanted to go back into the prediction last month because there's a twist that I think is really interesting concerning what was said back then. I, I stumbled onto something and I need to share what I'm picking up on. Um, what I'm sensing coming up, I was seeing a small plane crash. Now, um, this was not like a like a jet, a jumbo jet. It was a small, maybe a small commuter plane or maybe even smaller than that. Not very many passengers on it. But there is someone of importance on this plane. And I heard the words uh, springs, like, like Hope Springs, Yellow Springs, Eureka Springs. I just, I kept getting different names and then I would hear springs. So I don't know if that's like the origin, origination of the flight or the destination of the flight to an area near something springs. That's a possibility. I'm not sure on that. Um, so what I got was that someone important is going to be on that plane and it is absolutely 100% sabotage. It's something with, I just saw the, this plane going down with the engine on fire. It's something electrical and it's going to be blamed on just, you know, some electrical fault. But make no mistake, this is not an accident. This is an intentional thing. Um, it's an assassination of some important person on this plane. So I asked who is being targeted and why, but a strong leader of some kind. Um, I think someone is being targeted to be taken out. So something about this person poses a risk. Most likely he he's poses a threat to the establishment or somebody behind the scenes, okay? Offing this person because they pose a risk to something is an attempt to change the direction or the course of the way things are going, to change destiny. What I'm sensing with this in terms of the purpose is they're wanting to usher in something and perhaps this king, this leader is in the way. Okay, I, I'm getting this as kind of a dark plot, all right? Somebody of prominence is going to, is going to be taken out unless fate changes. So this is something new. This is something popping up into the consciousness that is probably already in the works and being planned. So if somebody of prominence is traveling by plane, especially small commuter planes, to a place with something with the name of Springs, you might want to go by car or change your plans because there's this is uh, this is absolutely um, sabotage of the airplane and I have a feeling that it's going to be ruled as an accident and just faulty wiring or something like that but it's not it's it's a targeted takeout okay so let's get into this month of July what's in store this month what can we expect what I'd like to do is go into my heart center. I would like to invite my guides in. So I'd like to ask regarding this month of July, 
what things might be coming up this month? Okay, the first thing I'm hearing is yellow fever outbreak. This could be somewhere in Africa. Along the coastline somewhere. I think it's on the coast of the African continent. I'm not sure which, um, which area. I get an N. N. Namibia, something like that. N. Nambia, something like that. Something about uh, the fossil records being changed. St uh, some sort of change to the fossil records. Perhaps a fossil uncovered. Th this is going to be really controversial. And I'm sensing there may be something to do with a cover-up or some sort of wanting to cover it up okay i just heard certain things are going to be panning out the way things need to happen and it's not going to be the way people think sometimes there could be an energetic that is of a desired outcome for many and that energetic may be good and noble desire and yet, if that thing were to be realized, there could be unforeseen problems or consequences as a result. So while the thing desired may be a good thing, there could be a consequence if that thing were to take place. And this is what we see here in this timeline in this energy frequency so what may be helpful in this scenario is for the intention that is brought forth to be that of wanting the highest good even if it means a delay in something that is desired by the individual or by the collective. What would serve the highest good? The highest good, the highest purpose in my life, we should say, and in the collective as well. As I focus on the month of July, what key things will be taking place this month? I'm, I'm kind of feeling like there's a crossroads. There's, there's a desired thing that should happen, that needs to happen. But if it does, there's a high likelihood that something not wished for could result. An unintended consequence. Perhaps an example would be a lot of people want to see a certain leader come back and maybe that is a good intention and a good thought but if it happened there might be a problem unforeseen at this time. That's what's happening with July. So that's why these things are being delayed that's why many people are wondering why has this not happened? Why has this not been resolved? And this is why it is the hand of what you would call the hand of God preventing it, actually. I hear tip of the spear, spearhead. I'm seeing Donald Trump prominently. I'm sensing that there is some things going on behind the scenes. We cannot take face these events at face value and, and expect to understand the full picture. We just cannot. So this is going to be a time of having to pull ourselves back from what we think we want, even if what we want 
is good and just and righteous or whatever, we have to pull back from what we want and trust. We have to pull back from what we want and we have to trust. I'm getting something with Ghislaine Maxwell being moved. I'm hearing federal prison. She's being transported. What? This is at night. Why is it at night? Why would you transport prisoners at night? That makes no sense. Oh my God, what is this? I'm just, I'm feeling something. What the hell is this? I, I felt, is she like escaping? Like, is she getting out of prison? What the fuck? There's something weird. There's something weird going on. I don't know how to describe it. There's something weird going on with Ghislaine Maxwell. I'm just, I'm just, I'm seeing somebody, I'm seeing somebody being transported. They're, they're a prisoner, they're in shackles, but they're being transported by night, at night. Now, why would you do that at night? Under cover of darkness. I see, it's like I'm, I'm, I can smell, the, it's like humid, humid air. The air is thick and humid. It's nighttime. And I feel like this person's being taken somewhere, moved somewhere, under cover of night, under cover of darkness. It's so strong, I'm feeling this. It feels like Elaine Maxwell, but then I also feel like there's an energy of someone who is has like duct tape and they're being and they are bound associated with Ghislaine. She, like she's there and they're there. And they're moving on into this new where are they going? I'm just hearing the da dun da dun da dun of the road as you're traveling over a, a, over a bridge, over water. Where it? A white van. There's two men. They stop the van. They go around to the back. It's got the double doors that go like this. And they're pulling people out so all right the weird thing that i'm getting when i sat down to tune into this month i went on a whole big scene in my mind regarding a white van trafficking what i believe is a young girl and a woman an older woman who's like a handler and two men in the front of the van. I see them under cover of darkness transporting these women in the back. And they pull up. This is back east somewhere of the United States, I believe. I'm, I'm smelling like the humid scent, really strong, very humid area. And it's summertime, and it's like 2 in the morning, dark under cover of night. And they pull up to some place. And it looks like, like a big white, like the White House, or some big building of some kind. And they're, they're getting out. The girl, the young girl, looks about 12. She's got, she's got her hands tied behind her back and duct tape over her mouth and oh my gosh it just looks awful um and they they take like bags of something like dumping out bags of stuff when they get out 
and they're hauling the bags and they're hauling the, the, the girl. And the woman, I think, is a, an accomplice. And they go into this building. I, I, I don't know what to make of this. It's just a, the scene I'm seeing. Really strong. It's like this is... And I've tried to ask the cards about it. And it's like... I get cards that indicate to me that something like this could be being exposed or coming to light or there's some sort of twist but I do sense it has to do with some sort of moving transporting individuals under cover of darkness so very interesting what's going on there so I'd like to take you on a hypothetical possibility of a maybe might happen kind of thing for July. What I was picking up on was a white van. I've got a strong sense of Ghislaine Maxwell being in the van and being transported. Here's what I think is going to happen. And I'm going to I'm going to take a stab at this because the future is anyone's guess. This is what I'm feeling and thinking may be the case. So try this one on for size. The official narrative comes out in the news that Ghislaine Maxwell has died in prison through self-inflicted hanging. Her body was discovered by one of the security guards despite being on a suicide watch. The truth is, that you'll not be told, is that she was transported out sometime around two in the morning the night, the night before that morning, early, early, transported to a safe location where she went under an assumed identity and continued doing the things that she always did in the life that she always knew. So if we hear during the month of July that, oh my gosh, she, she hung herself in prison, might I suggest that that could be a ruse? It may very well be fake news designed to deceive you into thinking that the saga is over, she got her just desserts, and she's gone to meet her maker. When in fact, she's running around scot-free. It's just a possibility, just a possibility. But it's one that I've, I've been playing with the cards for the last 20 minutes here. <laughs> I paused the video and I've been looking at this many different ways, and that's the situation, that's the scenario that I'm coming up with. So we'll see what happens. But just know, if you hear in the news she hung herself, no. That van that I saw was so clear. I could smell the humidity in the air. I could see, I'm, it's like I'm looking out through someone's eyes and I can see it's, it's dark out and the, the two in the morning just sticks with me. But I can see like going over a bridge, some large river, and I think it's in Washington, D.C. I don't know where we are. I don't know if this is the White House. I don't know where this is, but it's a big white building of some kind, mansion of some kind, and she's there, and so is a young girl who's being trafficked. So that's what I'm seeing. Uh, now there may be instances where justice is served, but when it comes to this issue with Ghislaine I don't think so 
and I do sense a change and a walking away for her and a new life for her. Right now, that's what I'm getting for July. It's unfortunate, really. Um, that's what I'm getting. Okay. We'll talk again soon. Have a great night, a great day, wherever you are. Enjoy. We'll catch you next time.